Hi everyone, uh, I wanted to share something I discovered in Android, uh, a way to hide notifications when people from iPhone devices choose to like or laugh at uh, an image or a text message you might send. Spent a lot of time trying to figure this out and come up with something that isn't too complicated. And I found a solution that just involves uh, one app to be permanently installed on your phone. Uh, it involves another app to authenticate it, but you don't need something as complex as Tasker or something else. Uh, it'll cost $2.50 for the app to function, and it will not stop texts from coming in from iPhone devices that say, you know, liked, liked or loved or laughed at. It will just simply block the notifications. So if you're in group chats uh, and you're annoyed with the uh, number of people liking and loving the things that other people say or that you say, this will at least keep your phone from dinging when that happens. So uh, you're going to need to install this app called Auto Notification. It's free to install. And then uh, if you get it to work correctly for you, you can uh, choose to pay the full $2.50 for it. I might recommend watching this video all the way through first and then feel free to back it up and then go through step by step and pause to take the steps on your phone to see if you can recreate what I've been able to do here. This is a Pixel 5. Hopefully it works for you. First thing you want to do is install auto notification. This app seems to have more warnings and flavor text than many apps you may install. All it really needs for permission is the need to be able to read notifications coming in. Um, so not too bad on the permissions front, but you are going to have to click through some, some flavor text as you move through the app interface. Once you get into the app, you'll need to tap the use for free button at the top. This will allow you to watch an ad to use the app for free for 24 hours. That should be long enough for you to test and make sure this thing works correctly. So go ahead and do that. Once you do that, you'll be taken back to the app and you'll want to go into the notification blocking section. This is where you will grant it the permission it requests. Okay, that should be it for all of the notifications you're going to get from this app. That's nice. Now the next step is kind of strange. I found that trying to set up an, uh, a notification blocker manually would not take correctly. I don't know if it has something to do with the quotation marks used in text messages or what, but I found the best uh, method for setting up the proper block is to actually send myself a text message that emulates what you might get from an iPhone user. By doing this, you can use the app to intercept that notification and use it as a template for blocking all the notifications we're planning to get rid of. So I use the Messages app for Android. So I went into that and sent myself a text message that says, liked an image. That is a very easy quotation markless message you might get from an iPhone user. You have to be sure that as soon as you hit the send button, you close the app. So that way you actually get the notification to ding in the notification tray. Once you get that notification, do not swipe it away. Leave it there. Let it go away naturally, uh, like you're saving it for later, and switch over to the auto notification app. Hit the plus button at the top right, and you're going to see a question pop up asking if you want help setting up this notification. You know, you might think you don't, but yes, choose the yes button. And what, by clicking yes, it will look at your current notifications to use one as a template for setting up a, a, a blocker. I currently have two notifications running. One is the text I sent myself. The other is the screen recording app. Obviously, you'll select the um, you'll select the notification that represents the text you just sent yourself. Maybe you're not using messages. Maybe you're using Textra or, or uh, Chomp or something else. When it asks what you want to block the notification by, you're going to choose text, not title. This is where you set up the strings for what. Uh, text message text you want to block. You absolutely want to leave the filter title blank. Uh, I made the mistake at first of putting something in there. You want it blank. Otherwise, it will look for a notification title and use that as a part of what it filters. We don't want that. We just want to leave liked an image just as it is, and we're going to test that message first.
Now it's time to switch back over to your text message application and type in liked an image, send it to yourself, close the app as soon as you send it and wait. If it's working correctly, you should see no notification for that message to yourself. If you still get a notification, I'm not really sure how to help you with that. I apologize, but I'm not, you know, I don't know much about this program and how to troubleshoot. If you want to test the blocker further, you could also send the phrase liked an image, but spell image wrong. Uh, send that message to yourself and then you should get that notification. You should only have notifications blocked for the phrase liked an image written just like that. Assuming that this has worked for you so far, I hope it has, you're going to want to go back into the auto notification program and choose to edit the block filter that you've set up already. At this point, you're going to want to edit the filter text and replace it with all the different kinds of text you might receive from an iPhone. Uh, I've pasted this in the comments here in the video in case you want to copy it. Uh, just be sure that you don't include spaces before and after the commas. The commas are what separate the strings and you don't want any extraneous spaces there, otherwise the filters may not work correctly. At that point, feel free to go back into your text program and, and test some other messages. Maybe try liked and then include a message that you might have sent in quotes, because that's what that looks like. Hopefully you received no notification for that. If, if that's the case, then this is working correctly for you. Perhaps there are other strings that uh, could be blocked as well, but these are just the ones that I normally get from friends. Feel free to test this for 24 hours. If it's working for you, then it's time to purchase the full version of this app. This app is self-contained. Uh, it runs on its own. It doesn't need Tasker. But in order to uh, unlock this full version of this app, you do need to install one more app. It's not an app called Auto Apps. Uh, it's, just, it's just what this system, this app uses to uh, verify that you, you, you own it. You'll install that. As soon as you do that, you should see a Google pay notification for $2.50, a one-time purchase to authenticate the auto notification app. You can see here that it says that I've already paid for it, which is great. At that point, you'll go back to the auto notification app, make sure it is in fact the full version. And at that point, you can go back and uninstall the auto apps app. So you're just left with a fully purchased version of the auto notification app, and that's all you need. You're done. And it is important to keep in mind what this app is actually doing. It is looking for uh, these strings that exist in any text message, right? So if someone were to type you a text manually and include the phrase laughed at an image or include the string laughed at with a quote space quote in it, um, those are going to be blocked as well. Now you're not, you're going to get the texts. You're just not going to get notifications for those texts. It's kind of rare that someone would type that to you. So for me, it's been worth having this you know, notification blocker on. It just gets rid of all the iPhone junk. But just keep in mind that that is what this is doing. Uh, if in fact you're worried that you might get other texts blocked, uh, that's that's just something to keep in mind. But that's it. I hope this helped. I hope it worked for you. Um, I'm not really good with things like uh, advanced uh, tasker profiles and uh, you know, troubleshooting on an app like this. You may be watching this video way after I uploaded it. Perhaps things have changed. Um, but I wish you the best of luck in trying to make this this happen. And I'm sure that the auto notification team would be happy to answer any questions you have if you have sort of a specific case on an unfamiliar Android phone where you can't get this working. Uh, but good luck. Uh, let's let's see. Hopefully, eventually, uh, Android can learn to to deal with auto iPhone notifications like that. But until then, we're just going to keep the noise down, right? Uh, but yeah, hope this helped. Take care.